Hey guys, welcome back to Diamond Shine with Shanta. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day um, so far. Um, I just want to come on and show my cover minder stash and also show how I repair broken cover minders and how I um, make my the clay minders that I have. Um, so I have I have I'm gonna list these in orders of order of when I purchased them. So my first purchase um, with these two glass um, tree minders, and I purchased them off of Etsy from Carol's Creations. And I will try to link all of these shops in my description box. Then my next order was from Shine Shop Designs, and I got a blingy turtle, um, a blingy apple, and what's called a goofy owl. I thought he was so cute and funny. Then my next order was from Nika Designs. And I got Jasmine and Friends. And that came with Jasmine, a little lamp, and the tiger. And I cannot think of his name. Ooh, look at that. Magnets attract each other, guys. Remember that. Keep them apart. And then I also ordered a little bitty piglet. <laughs> and then next I ordered from um Oh Snap Crackers Cafe. I thought these were really cool. You buy the bottom part and then you can buy the snap to go on top. So I bought the bottom and I bought a snap. And I thought that was just so pretty. And then it's another Etsy shop called Mrs. Minders. And I bought a Cruella and a Squirt the Turtle. Then I ordered from Shine Shop Designs again. And I ordered a big old Jim Rainbow, which is one of my favorite cover minders. And then after that, one day I was in Hobby Lobby and I saw these exact same charms. And then I went and I, I figured out how to make my own jeweled cover minders. So I have these. I made a jeweled butterfly. Let's see, they have a little magnet on the back. Whoops. I had to snap off the little pins. And then I put, um, um, what's it called? Hot glue over it so it's not, so it doesn't stick and hurt people. I did this little owl, which I thought was really cute. Same thing, I snipped the back pins off and I put hot glue on it. This pretty fox. Same thing, I... This beautiful tree, which is one of my favorites. I use this one a lot. And this cherry. I have to work on this cherry because it's so heavy that it slides. So I'm probably going to have to put either two magnets on it or something. I haven't figured it out. I, I've never really used it until I tried to use it recently and it did not work. So I made these. And then um, I bought, I went back to Old Snap Crackers Cafe and I bought a snap of a cat, which I thought was so pretty. And then a scent snap to go on top. And all you do is you just, um, you put more oil on the little pad on the inside and, and it smells good while you're diamond painting. And then I had stopped buying cover minders for a long time. And then I saw this little cute avocado recently on Randa's Crafty Corner. And I bought that one. I thought it was so cute. It's smaller than I thought it was going to be. It's pretty little. See you on my pointer. But it's still cute. And then for the Colathon, I went... um. 
and her web page is called Artist Dakota, but it's Dakota um, Detweiler. And I bought Angel of Justice and What Lies Beneath. I have this painting, and hopefully DAC will make this one, and I'll have this one as well. And then when I went to Mary's Making Craft, because I wanted to try her Mary's mud, she had mine as I thought was cute. So she calls this one arugula, but I think it's really romaine lettuce as a grocery shop, a grocery store worker. A little, cro a little croissant. A banana. And chocolate. So cute. If you know me, you know my love of food. So I think little, I think food miners are so cute. And then I, f I heard of B and C Creations and Diamond Page. It's a group that's on Facebook. And she does like kind of like what she what she does a Facebook Live. Doing a Facebook Live, she shows minders and you it's not an auction, you just say whoever um wants it and says it first in the comments gets to purchase the minder. So my first purchases from her was this cute little mermaid. I thought she was just so stinking cute. And I was using her when I was doing Maui Mermaid. And then this one. This is Glenda the Good Witch from the Wizard of Oz. And my mom is named Glenda, so I thought that I just, I've always loved Glenda the Good Witch. And I'm going to use her when I do, um, I have a few Wizard of Oz paintings, so I'm going to use her. And then um, she had another, another Friday Facebook Live where I was able to purchase Ursula which is so cute, and Moana. And then sometimes she does like, um, she'll list minders on her Facebook page and you can just write in the comments um, which ones you want. And doing that one, I found the cutest minders I've ever seen. They're little piggies and animals. Look at that guys, <laughs> look how cute that is. And the magnets on the bottom. A little lamb. So cute. A little cow like laying, like he's laying down sunbathing. Another pig with his little tush in the air. <laughs> so cute. Do we have a, another pig? He's just sitting there chilling. As y'all can see, I'm a collector of things. I can, this part, I guess, of this craft. And this little cow is laying on his belly. And then I also got these during the same time. Is Wednesday, Morticia, and Gomez. I thought they were so cute. And I'm going to be purchasing a Wednesday painting soon. So I'll definitely be using these cover mines for that. These magnets are not playing, y'all. They just snapping together. Or snapping off the table. And then when she, when I bought the clay miners from her, it made me think, well, I want to try to see, what, you know, if people just make clay figurines. So I looked up. And search for clay figurines and I found some places to purchase some from and I'll put those in the comments below. Oh, I forgot to show y'all one more from um, BNC Creations. It's a little Kirby. I'm going to use this one when I do. Um, I cannot think of the name of the painting, but it's the painting um, done by, oh, what is her name? Miss Bird D. Um, and it has a little Kirby in the painting. I'm going to use this one then. And so then I found a place called Fairy Dust Clay. Um, Fairy Dust Clay. <clears throat> and I'll link her shop in the thing. It's an online shop. It's not an Etsy shop. And I purchased these little clay figurines. And then I put magnets on the back. And I made minders out of them. And I, to me, these are just the cutest Little figures. 
And she has more than just people. Have a little unicorn. And a little puppy dog with a little, he has a little, he has a little um, rhinestone on him and he's so cute. A little hedgehog. A little girl with her earmuffs on. A little elephant and she, her trunk actually sticks out, so cute. A little girl, she's holding the cactus. It's just so cute to me. And then I have a little girl with a with a unicorn. She's carrying the unicorn. She has a little unicorn head headband on. So cute. A little girl holding a sunflower. I have. Two of those. And then I got her for Easter. I thought she was cute because she literally has on like a little ice cream cone. And y'all know me, food. I thought I couldn't pass that one up. And this was a free gift. And also, the little rabbit was a free gift. I've made two orders, and I don't know if she gives you a free gift with every order. It's a free gift if you buy so many. I'm not sure, but I've gotten two free gifts. back out of the way. I definitely don't need these clay ones popping together. It's probably a break for my look. And I got my big old self in the frame. I'm sorry. I think that's everything. I'm not showing like the ones I get from DAC and Crafted Me for free. Just the ones I purchased. Now this is an order I made from a place called Marigold Supply. I also ordered from this online. And they make clay minders. And the, I have not um, turned these into a minder yet. They're still on the back but this is they call her the cute wicked witch i have a lot of um wizard of oz paintings as well then i have dorothy i just hate she doesn't have her little red shoes but i guess that maybe was before she got sucked away into the tornado and then we have the beast I gotta get. I gotta find a beauty. Haven't found a beauty yet, but I do have some beauty. I have a beauty and the beast paint, and I'm gonna use those on. And then I purchased two of these um, for a painting that I have. Um, I didn't know which one I would like the best. I think I like this one the best, but they're both cute. I like his pants and the little blood on his knife. Then I have Rapunzel. I have a Rapunzel painting. And I also need to find a, um, a Elsa and a Little Mermaid for paintings that I have. But I haven't got to find one yet. This is Maleficent. I do not have a painting. I just thought it was cute. Same thing with Ursula. I don't have an Ursula painting. I just think she's cute. And then a little Cinderella. I don't have a Cinderella painting either. I just thought she was so pretty. So these I have to turn into cover miners, and I was going to show you all how I do it. I'm just going to just lay this bubble wrap right down just to kind of cover the table. Um, so everyone always says um, use E6000 glue. Um, this is what it looks like if you've never seen it before. It's a clear glue. And... These are some of my magnets. I couldn't find I have a big pack of magnets that has all different sizes. I could not find them today. Um, but I just want to show you um, the magnet has come off of the back of this one. So I'm just going to um, replace it with this one. And to do that, I'm just going to... And this glue is... Um, it sticks to everything. Ooh, it's going to be a hard one to open. Okay, there we go. 
and licks out really easy. See how that string is already right there. So you just put the smallest drop. You just lay your magnet on top. Sometimes they'll slide, so I kind of keep watching them to make sure it's not sliding somewhere I don't want it to be. You just have to lay it down and let it dry. I usually let mine dry for at least two to three days. I don't touch them for two to three days. And like for Dorothy, let's say I'll do her. Um, so if I'm going to get a bigger magnet. I'm going to take one off of here. I have other ones to replace them. You just same thing. I'm going to put a drop. Ooh. Maybe a little bit more. And the glue really spills out of this thing really easy, so it's annoying. Okay. And then you lay your magnet down, kind of hold it. And I can tell this one definitely is going to be sliding on me, so I have to watch it. But you just do that to all your little cover minders, and then you will have your own little minders. I wish I, I was going to show you how I do the um, ones with the pin, but I can't find my wire cutter. So I have to do that one another day. But pretty much you just get wire cutters. You cut off the pin that's on the back. I, like I said, I put, um, I sanded it a little bit with some um, real gritty sandpaper. Then I put some um, hot glue on top just to make sure. So it's not sharp. See, it doesn't cut, doesn't hurt. Because who wants to get cut by your cover minder? Let's put this back on here because you can see it's already leaking so when you do do this do it on some kind of surface because it's that, that glue is definitely going to leak i just want to thank everyone for watching um if you stay to the end um put an apple up in the comments um please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content today and also, um, you can hit the notification bell so you'll always know when um, I um, put videos up on YouTube. All right, guys. You all have a great day. Bye.